have laid up, have laid up treasures for us, but not treasures in heaven, but treasures in hell. God it says the wages of sin is death. The wages that we're reaping right now is death. The way that we're going down this narrow road right here is death. God has is, is planted a man once to die, and after that, the judgment. It is the point of man reaching to stand before a holy and a righteous God. And we're going to have to stand before him and give an account for all the things we said, we thought, even every idle word. We're going to have to give an account for him. We're going to have to give an account for the way we use our tongue. We're going to have to give an account for the way we spoke to our brother, our sister, our father, our mother. We have to give an account for every single idle word. It says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? It says when Jesus looked upon the multitudes, he was moved with compassion. We are here because God has saved us, he's redeemed us, and he's moved upon our heart to, save, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. It says, there's way, there's, it says there's a way that seems right to a man, but his end that leads to death. Wait, not, how many times did you go to church and you just didn't get set free? How many times did you go to a church and you just, you just walked out empty? It's not about going to church, about having a religion. It's about having a saving relationship with Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day we traveled to Bourbon Street to proclaim the gospel, the good news to you. Today is the day that we want to see you give your heart to Jesus Christ today. Today is the day that you are going to walk in a newness of life. Today is the day you can bend your knee to the Lord Jesus Christ. Bend your knee, bow your heart, turn from your sin, turn from your sin. It says, what must I do to be saved in Acts 3? You must repent and believe the gospel. Turn from your believing, you can save yourself. Turn from believing. False idols, false thoughts. Turn from believing that you can, you can somehow have a religion that will, that will save you. Religion isn't going to save you. It's going to mess you up. Religion isn't going to save you. Going to, uh, to, to a fat, to fat Wednesday and putting ashes on your head isn't going to help you. Putting ashes on your head is just an outward thing. But Jesus Christ says, you must be born again to even see the kingdom of God. You must be born again, my friends. There is a, you're going to stand face to face with the Holy God. One day we're all going to die and we're going to stand face to face with the Holy and the Righteous God. He's holy, He's righteous, and He cannot let any sin into heaven. No liar, no thief, no idolater, covetous, no um, homosexual. Enter into the kingdom of God. But only, it says in Hebrews 12, 14, without holiness, no man will see the Lord. You must be holy and righteous to see the Lord God Almighty. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Right now, the wages you're waking up is sin. Your sin is gonna is gonna is gonna hold you accountable on that day of judgment. It's your choice to either accept or reject the gift of God. Jesus Christ died upon the sin, upon the cross for you. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through Jesus. Nobody comes to heaven except through Jesus Christ and the work, the finished work on Calvary. I'll tell you what, my friends, this is my ninth year here in Mardi Gras, and it doesn't get any easier to share with you. It doesn't get any easier because it still breaks my heart. It still breaks my heart that people reject God. It still breaks my heart that people choose not to follow Jesus. It still breaks and rips my heart wide open that people are not following after God because this is the greatest commandment. The greatest commandment isn't to go to church. The greatest commandment isn't to do penance. The greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. This is the greatest commandment. How can you live this out? You can live this greatest commandment out by giving your life to Him. By living holy, sir. You can give your greatest commandment. By bending your knee to Jesus. Bending your knee to Jesus, you can live out this greatest commandment. The greatest commandment is the, is, the, is the least commandment walked out. Because we live for self. We live for pleasure. We live for the things of this world. The things of this world are evaporating. They're going away. The things of this world are not going to last very long. The only thing that's going to last is what you've done for Jesus Christ and for eternity. The only thing that's going to last is, do you know Jesus? Do you know what? There's only two things that can happen when you meet God face to face. It's going to say, either depart from me, I never knew you, you workers of iniquity, or he's going to say, come into the kingdom. But one thing he could say also is, depart from me, I never knew you. 
God wants to have a relationship with you, not religion and dead works. God wants to have a relationship with you. He wants you to turn from your sin. He wants you to acknowledge that you need a Savior. And He wants to turn and He wants you to have a relationship with Him. So today we're give, offering you a choice. We're offering you a choice. And that is accept the gift of God. Accept the free gift that comes through Jesus Christ. Okay? Praise the Lord. We're here to agree with you for forgiveness of sin and to have a new life in Christ.